Hey guys, this is Ted from American Rifle here to tell you about our new Archimedes Action and our Xilo chassis. Incidentally, Xilo uh, is the Greek word for wood, basically, so it's basically your stick. That's what well, that's where the name came from. Uh, X Y L O pronounced Xilo. So the action. Let's talk about the action first. Uh, it looks a lot like a nucleus. The bolt is very similar to a nucleus using the same bolt head, same extractor. However, it is uh, the similarities basically end there. The, what, what this bolt does is provide the ability to extract a cartridge that can be extracted without... Uh, you know, so long as the cart the rim of the cartridge is actually strong enough to get it out of the chamber. You can break the rim off the cartridge pretty easily with this action. And the reason for that is the bolt handle pivots, right? So you can kind of see that. Hold on, let me just put the rifle down so and hold it still so you can see the bolt handle. Right. Now the bolt handle is spring biased forward. Right, so when you drive it, you don't really feel, you don't really feel the, uh, it doesn't feel a whole lot different than a normal action that has uh, helical extraction cams. This one doesn't have helical extraction cams. So what happens basically is when you rotate the bolt, this one has 75 degrees of bolt rotation and, uh, that gives you good clearance between your knuckle here and the scope that's mounted. So you're not going to catch a scope, the ocular bell of a scope on the way in. So 75 degrees of bolt rotation. And when you rotate, when you rotate, all, of, all the rotation does is unlock the uh, bolt lugs from the receiver. That's it. There's no primary extraction in this motion. The primary extraction comes... From, when, from retracting the bolt. So right now I'm just pushing the bolt shroud forward, right? And then when you pull the bolt, when you pull back on the bolt handle, it just drives, it drives the bolt backwards, right? And the reason it does it is because the bolt handle, here, I'll take the bolt out, make it a little easier. So the bolt handle passes, th passes all the way through the bolt body, it's pinned here, right? And it protrudes from the other side. And this little surface here bears against the surface within the, the receiver so that when you pull this back, it's basically, it's a lever, which is why we called it, you know, the Archimedes. Archimedes was a Greek thinker, philosopher, mathematician, scientist. It was all kinds of things like that one. But he famously proclaimed, at least people give him credit for pro proclaiming that, you know, given a lever long enough and a place to stand, he can move the world. Hence the name, Archimedes. Uh, so it's basically a rotary unlock lever extract action. And the nice thing about the lever extract is that if a uh, same bolt stop as the nucleus, by the way, same ejector as well. Uh, the nice thing about the lever extract is that if your cartridge is stuck, right, you're just going to pull straight back into your shoulder, right? And you can, you can pull a rifle into your shoulder with, like, a lot of force. And that force can only be reacted by the cartridge. And it's going to lose. You're going to win that fight every time. I mean, you got to be at least as strong as I am. I'm not very strong, and I can win the fight every time. So I'm sure most of you are going to have a much easier time at it. So that's that's the beauty of this of this concept is that people aren't very strong. Like if I were to if I were trying to extract the cartridge using a helical extraction cam, like on a conventional action. You know, I'd have to, you know, something, I might be able to get it if I hit it, but if I can't hit it, there, there's, a, there's a, a limit as to a much less effective trying to extract the cartridge by lifting up on the bolt handle and trying to keep the rifle from rolling in my hand. Humans just aren't the right shape to do that. We're shaped much better to pull things straight back into our shoulder, at least, you know, the, the bolt handle of a rifle. We can more effectively pull it into our shoulder. That's what's good about this thing. So 
in that regard, I, I think it completes, it's the complete bolt action, action solution now. I mean, for 120 years, they've all been, you know, helical cams. Uh, they've all had helical cams, but now this is, this is different. <laughs> and it's good. It's really good. And I know you're going to like it. So that's the Archimedes in a nutshell. What else can I tell you about it? Um, all the, all the other features on it are essentially like those of the Nucleus. Uh, same, it has the same magwell, same bolt stop, same bolt head, same extractor, same ejector. Um, it's just really the bolt that's different. And this knob, uh, I've been pushing these knobs lately. I really like them. It's the, my favorite knob that we make. And the reason I like it is it, it even, it's, it's nice and soft. On the on the on the end, so when you drive the bolt, when you drive the bolt forward, uh, it just, for me, it just I like how it just catches my hand too. Like I can, when I throw it up, I can easily pretty much catch it. So you guys are gonna play with that at Shot Show. So enough about the action. Again, it's the Archimedes. Uh, you know, you can read about it online. There's more information there, and come see it at Shot Show. But now onto the chassis. Uh, chassis, like we said, uh, xylo, Greek word for wood. You can translate it, you know, stick. Stick is actually lafty. It's more like a staff. But I like xylo, uh, x y l o. Uh, chassis details. We've got an on shoots rail uh, running down the bottom of the forend. Uh, we've got drainage holes that also serve uh, for arresting barricade stops. Uh, Arca rail also on the underside of the fore end, so we're running both Swiss and Arca. I kind of like the idea of shooting Camp Perry. I promised Keith Sanderson I would this year, uh, in which case I'm going to need a, a hand stop to shoot uh, the long range competition there. Um, or the thousand yard, I don't even know what it's called, but I'm sure he knows. Um, yeah, so I'll have a hand stop on this one, uh, an on shoots hand stop. Uh, M lock down the length. We got the uh, the, the license from uh, Magpul to use M lock and their logo. Their logo's not on here yet. Ours isn't either, but it will be. But this is the, the true M lock. It is true to their spec, and um, I like their I like what they did with it. I think it's a good idea, so I, I definitely incorporated it. Uh, the top holes are for uh, an optics mount. Uh, the, the, the screw holes are designed to use the same screws that we use to mount the rail. Uh, they're the 82 degree conical uh, head with an overdrive, with an oversized Torx drive. Uh, we like that a lot. This one, there's a bar lock here in case you're wondering. But uh, we have swivel cups that are steel inserts. We did not just machine them into aluminum. Uh, although we probably could have, this thing is made from 7075, which is... I mean, it's, you know, it's, the, it's what you want it to be made out of. 7075 is a, is a really strong aluminum alloy, in case you don't know. It's about twice the strength of 6061 that's more commonly used by others. Um, our logo will appear here and here. The MLOC logo will be here. Uh, mag release, pretty standard. There could be variations on this theme. Uh, incidentally, at SHOT Show, we're open to input. This this is literally chassis number one or it can either be one, two, three, or four. There's only four that exist right now. Um, there's a few things I'd like to tweak on, but it's pretty damn close the way it is. Um, it can handle either a right-handed or a left-handed action. There's no right or left-hand variant, but there is a long and a short variant. And I, I don't know, I can think about trying to combine, you know, get long and short out of the same chassis. I haven't looked at that yet, but maybe I can do it. Uh, nice big trigger finger hole here to put your finger in for your trigger. Uh, really narrow uh, above the trigger so that, you know, the grip, we'll talk about the grip, but basically I want to keep as much chassis out of the way of your finger as possible. There's a slot in the trigger guard so you can get tools through it, get to your trigger, make your adjustments. This grip was shaped by hand. It's made from walnut. Uh, and incidentally, the chassis, the primary chassis structure is all one piece, you know, from basically here to the tip of the fore end. Uh, thank you, Keith Sanderson, for shaping this chassis. We were all here till 3 o'clock in the morning. Was that last night or two? I can't even remember when that was. 
but it was it's all been a blur. But basically, uh, the, this grip feels great. Um, it's probably not the final rendition. You guys can feel it in a similar one at SHOT Show. They're walnut. You can shape them yourself. We could do like, a, and we have them. You'll see them at SHOT Show as well, but basically an unshaped grip. So, you know, you can whittle away or you can buy, you know, you can buy from our list of options for a grip. I'm not sure what that's going to look like yet. But basically the idea here is that you can get your thumb up behind the receiver, which offers that which offers that great pivot point to you get flip that bolt with. So this, yeah, I like this. Keith knows what he's doing with grips. He's one of, he's probably the most accomplished uh, American pistol shooters. And pistol, grips are important for pistol shooters. He thinks they're also important for rifle shooters. So I'm uh, leaning heavily on him for that. Uh, cheek piece, rack and pinion adjustment on the cheek, cheek piece, basically, I'll put it down here so I can manipulate this for you. Basically, we pull the knob out, rotate, right? And the cheek piece goes up and down, pull the knob out, rotate, and it'll pop back in. Uh, one thing I want to do is double the resolution. It locks in on this side, right? It locks in on this side, but I want, I want to double that resolution so the adjustments are even finer. Uh, another thing is, at SHOT Show, you'll notice a little rattle here. Uh, that's basically because this is the first chassis we've anodized. We didn't know what buildups were going to be like, so we left plenty of clearance. We'll deal with that in the production setting. Uh, we've got three inches of length of pull adjustment. There's one inch in here, right? There's one inch in this part uh, where these, these are titanium pins. Uh, they stick into, well, they lock into here. There's a, there's a set screw uh, right there that you basically turn, it spreads two pins and engages these to lock these in position. That's a permanent adjustment. Well, not permanent, but like you could, that's basically set it and forget it. This one here is two inches of quick adjustment. So the idea here was that uh, you could shoot. Well, okay. So the idea, what, what motivated the two inches of quick adjustment is the fact that your length of pull from if you transition between like a sitting position or a prone position, your length of pull can be quite different. Mine's about an inch and three quarters different from 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 sitting to prone, or from basically prone to any other position. Your longest length of pull will probably be prone. So this is super easy. All you do is you squeeze, pull, you know, and that's it. Just squeeze, pull, put it where you want it. Now. Now you can imagine sleeves over here, right? So if I wanted to have, let's say I wanted my length of pull for sitting to be right there, right? So I'm sitting or shooting barricade or doing whatever it is I might be doing. And then I want to quickly transition to the length of pull for prone. All I got to do is that and it's there. It's just that simple. So super quick. That turned out pretty good, I think. Another swivel cup there. And then we have adjustment on the butt plate uh, vertically. And then a bag bar would adjust here. That's already on the website. And there's a uh, thing that goes here it's for, your, uh, for your optical mount. For, and I don't have night vision. You guys might. So if you do, you can buy one of those. But uh, yeah, so that's it. And then the butt plate, just a piece of EPDM uh, rubber. Uh, it's only an inch wide by about five and a half inches long. We're trying tall and skinny. See how you guys like it. Again, we're open to uh, lots of suggestions at SHOT Show. The other thing is the cheek piece is adjustable. Uh, there's four degrees of freedom. You got up, down, forward, aft, uh, uh, left, right, and the yaw. And you adjust it right now. So what this is here is basically just Velcro loops, uh, adhesive backed, uh, basically stuck together and then the velcro uh, loops are on the aluminum cheek piece there's a couple of screws that it exposes uh, this yeah, a friend of mine gave me this idea i liked it a lot the velcro i think it's made from nylon it doesn't get nasty and it's easy e it's easily replaced if you want to buy velcro loops and stick it to a piece of rubber if you like your face on rubber better you do things like that too so it's all you know Basically, this chassis is for you, so make it how you want it, especially the grip. That was the, that was the main focus of the chassis. 
is to just get a grip that, you know, this is a bolt action, it's not an AR, folks. I don't know what page everybody else is on, but I like the page, I like this page. So, yeah, so with that, I'm going to leave you guys. Uh, thanks for everything, thanks for the business over the years, sorry about the customer service. Uh, this is part of the reason why it hasn't been too good lately. It's, we've been making a pretty big effort to, you know, to get you better products. It's just that simple. But we're, you know, we're working to get better every day. So take care. This is Ted from American Rifle.